I'm very happy to give the word to Gottfried Lado, our keynote speaker of this afternoon, who can be so much more profound and elaborate about the subject. Please, Gottfried. Profound and elaborate about the subject. Your journey has just begun. We're talking today about the feeling of home. The feeling of home within young refugees. I'm not young, everybody can see that, I think. But I was once that young refugee. When I came here to this country many years ago, I was 19. So I'll take you guys back to that time and talk about the things that I needed back then to make me feel at home. There are a lot of young people who leave their homes, become refugees or to look for a better life for themselves. A lot of them lately are alone. So the website address is, as you can see here, yourjourney.nu and you get to the home. I'll scroll a little bit through the home and you can see our presentation. Every journey is a story and every story is a journey. We are also working on uploading all the translations. So in the end, the whole website will be available in English, Italian, Dutch, German, and Greek. So may I please present our researcher and friend, Dr. Nesrin Abu Hasaleh. Okay, so hi, welcome. Uh, as introduced, I am a researcher here at the University of Applied Sciences and I will tell you something about the research that has been done on this uh, uh, project. Okay, so what did we want to do? Uh, uh, Elche sitting here, she was the, 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 the brain behind uh, uh, this project, so um, she started it. And then we got the funding, which was extremely nice, about two years ago. Um, so what did we want to do? We wanted to see, okay, what does feeling at home mean and how can youth professionals increase feeling at home for local people, but especially people with a refugee background. Um, we wanted to be able to try and see, okay, everybody has their own journey, has their own story. Is there a difference in feeling at home when you have this whole path that you've been through or you have your own maybe smaller path locally, but also a journey? So this, is, this was the main reason why we got this, uh, um, this, this, this research. So it was a uh, two-year uh, research. I will tell you a little bit about the theoretical background. Um, and uh, what we did was, well, first I, I wrote some stuff about the theory and then uh, we did it with four countries. So Germany, Greece, the Netherlands and Italy. And every time we came together and all these people were the brains that, uh, the, how do you say that, the artistic brains, uh, storyteller, photographers, the people with a the theater background, and they developed all the tools that are now included in the exercises. Um, so we sat together and I as a researcher of course was like astonished uh, hearing all this creativity but it was so nice to be there. Um, after we created all these tools, every country took tools from the other country to assess whether is it doable, does it represent feeling at home, can youth professionals use it and this is how it was um, evaluated. So this, this uh, formulated the final uh, tool that, that you can find. 